Witching hours and serial killers are okay for some, but pure horror and games have a unique relationship. Only recently, with technological advances, has scary blossomed thanks to disturbing visuals, haunting sounds, and manipulative camera angles. This all helps draw out mankind's oldest emotion, fear. This raw nerve is pinched, stroked, and massaged in this new medium by drowning us in interactive worries, stirring up personal reservations that can continue even after you've turned the console off. Number 10. Clock Town. The only real problem with survival is that you have to keep it up. Ask poor orphan Jennifer who survived the grisly Scissor Man murders. Make that the original murders. Taking the tried and true point and click adventure to a new place, Clock Tower gives you the chance to feel what it's like to be skewered by a pair of garden shears. Violence won't help. Looking for refuge and sanctuary any place you can is the solution. But beware, not all hiding places are created equal. Number 9 System Shock 2 Amnesia is a dish best served in the cold reaches of space. Imagine awakening on a derelict spacecraft, dilapidated but not entirely vacant. The crew soon makes itself known, wailing pleas of euthanasia, all while trying to brain you. Mixed messages, perhaps, but frightening nonetheless. With a classic horror atmosphere in the void of outer space, the blood curdles and the imagination fails to match the frights to come. And just to make things worse, your closest ally is also your arch nemesis, the Shodan AI construct, the vile constant in System Shock. Number 8. Eternal Darkness. Let's bring some of the eldritch horrors and insecurities more close to home, and add in a side of Cthulhu mythos for instant terror. Horror connoisseurs can deal with unspeakable evil and the undead. When you tell them their memory card is corrupt, watch the palm sweat and the pulse quicken. Eternal Darkness's obliteration of the fourth wall via insanity was genius. With so many effects, you can never really be sure of anything or anyone. It works so well that Nintendo even patented video game insanity, which is scary unto itself. Number 7 Dark Sea Never forget that Surreal is anchored in the real. In the 1992 PC release Darkseed, there are nightmares overlapping suburbia, showing the sinister sides of something as banal as a barbershop or library. Even symbols of protection and good, like the police, are twisted, smelted into a metallic caprice of an alien evil. Alien is the key word, with horrific artworks from H.R. Geiger, an animated biomech amalgam of disturbances, where even a doll can be malformed like fleshy putty into a grotesque gateway. Fiendish dreams and unrelenting headaches dog you as the weird visions enter the waking world, and eventually, you pierce theirs. Work quick, or you may find the nightmares attempting an escape, without exaggeration, from your head and into our reality. Number 6 Doom 3 Just when you thought it was safe to play a first-person shooter, id Software proves that scares can come out of anywhere. Oh, do they ever in Doom 3. The series made such a dramatic leap from its second installment that seeing all of the Underworld's familiar faces in Uber 3D is almost enough to give it a spot in the top 10. Add to that adaptive lighting from your flashlight and creepy diary entries read by scientists that were probably on vacation in the ninth level of Hades, and it's no surprise that Doom 3 scared the hell out of us back in 2004. One thing we all learned playing Doom 3 was not to trust our own eyes. Number 5 The Sun
suffering. The punishment may fit the crime, but one of the punishment fuels the criminal. The residents of Abbott State Penitentiary know the answer and will be happy to share it with your alter ego in the suffering, himself convicted of slaying his family. Even he has a dark monster literally living within him, driving him insane. <laughs> Balancing the revulsion of pitiful monsters and owning up to what Torque may have done leaves a hopeless world where despair's only foe is raw, unnatural selection that canvases every corner of the prison. Blood-smeared walls, wailing cries for help, and a heaping helping of hauntings keep you on edge throughout. And is there anything scarier than a haunted prison? Number four. Alien vs. Predator. While the 1994 Jaguar exclusive was creepy in its own right, with three sides to the interstellar comic-based conflict, most of the sci-fi frights come from the game's technical limitations. Nothing makes noise when it moves. So until you get a motion tracker, the only way you know if you have an alien stalking you from behind is a sharp red flash on the screen, followed by the signature screech. And then, it's already too late. Every corner is an adversary, as a limited perspective offers a tense challenge, a bombardment of blind turns. And no one likes having a facehugger's tongue down their throat. Number three. Resident Evil. No matter how many bullets you have, it won't be enough. Sooner or later, and likely sooner, you'll be running or limping away from the hungry undead. In the Resident Evil remake, there's no such thing as a quiet moment in a cleared hallway. Even veterans will shriek as the little familiar garnishes from the original are remixed to stretch out the tension and never let it go slack. Even if you manage to squeeze some slugs into their brains, there's no way of knowing if they'll rise again as a quick and deadly crimson head, one of gaming's scariest and most feared creatures. Number two. Fatal Frame 2. What's more horrific than a haunted mansion? How about an entire village? When twin sisters get separated, the search is on. But as the player of Fatal Frame 2, do you really want to find the answers? Your only way to battle the lethal apparitions is a homely camera, capable of exercising the vilest division. To be most effective, you have to let the ghouls get as close as possible before snapping their mugs, making Fatal Frame 2 a game that actually rewards you for being spooked. The ghost story is told with an eye for the dramatic and a visual flair that makes it play like an interactive Japanese horror flick. Classy and downright creepy, it materializes at number two. <laughs> Silent Hill. Shen? Children, low light, white noise. Who knew that within a single generation, survival horror could be refined to the point of masterpiece? It has the broken glass freakout moments, but the real cuts come from the unsettling anticipation. Your radio blasts static when danger is near, and that danger is often obscured, your meager flashlight barely illuminating faint shadows. Your very tools are instruments of fear. Muddling the picture is a choking Kafka-esque fog twisting everyday scenes, like a school with murderous moppets into pure nightmares. The multiple endings are so layered in psychological scars that even onions weep. 
As unsettling today as it was when it was released, Silent Hill has left a legacy of terror, both mental and the kind that goes bump in the night. This is one game that was made more scary by the meager PlayStation hardware, and it's our pick for the scariest game of all time.